Hi, my name is Lina from Lina Sealing Haven. Today is video 20 and today I'm going to channel Jesus. So this video is all about what Jesus wants you to know. So without further ado, I will um, get a connection with Jesus now and so that he can talk to you um, directly. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I'm so happy to be able to come to you and talk to you in this way. I've been waiting for this for a long time, but Lena has been a little lazy in getting the next video out. So finally, now that I'm here, I would like to tell you a few things about myself and about the world. So I understand that um, ever since my death, my teachings have become what is known as Christianity now. Um, I am overall happy about this because Christianity is a great way for... Um, people interested in spiritual growth to come to know about me, about my father, God, and about how to be a good person. But you must understand that the church has become corrupted over the years, and even though there are still many good, well-meaning, and ethical churches out there, but quite a significant number of churches have become corrupted by power and greed and self-interest. So you have to be very careful if you want to um, attend a church so that you can practice Christianity or my teachings. You have to be careful about choosing one that makes you feel more connected to God, not to the pastor or to the people of the church, because some of you do go to church for the sake of creating friendships which is not a bad thing, but it cannot be a priority. So go to a church that makes you feel uplifted, that makes you feel inspired, not inspired to um, be richer or luckier or healthier or more abundant, but inspired to be more godly in your behavior and attitude and your thoughts so that whenever you go to church, you leave feeling like you're closer to God and that you're inspired to observe every action with love, compassion, and harmony. So there are churches out there who do not condone homosexuality or who are racist or who uh, perpetuate the need to segregate themselves from other religions. Well, I tell you now, all of this is really just bullshit. Christianity is not about segregation or division or prejudice or stereotyping. Christianity is all about love. So if you are in a church that doesn't help you to love more, more deeply, more grandly and more expensively, then please go to a different church that allows you to develop this love towards more and more people until you, you love everyone in this world. That is all I actually ask of you, to love everyone, yourself and everyone around you. Okay? Second thing is, um, even though my teachings are perceived as what is known as Christianity, but I actually consider myself as a Buddhist. And this may seem blasphemous to some of you, but trust me, Buddha's teachings are far more profound than what I've ever taught. What I teach is very practical um, instructions on how to be a good person. Buddha has all of that and more. So I'm not saying that you need to convert to Buddhism. No. Remember, there's no segregation, only love. My purpose in telling you this is for you to um, open your mind to all religions and understand that to follow Jesus is not, it doesn't necessarily mean to be a Christian. To follow Buddha doesn't necessarily mean to be a Buddhist. Um, what you should do is to simply learn all you can from different religions and take the best out of every, every one of them so that you will be motivated to practice 
whatever you know in your daily life so that you can extend more compassion to your fellow brothers and sisters as well as integrate more wisdom in your daily living and all of this will allow you to achieve greatness in your life whether it's financial abundance or relationship success okay lastly i would like to talk a little bit about health a lot of you um, have a misconception about health it is not about eating the right food or um, or avoiding pollutants or chemicals in your life it's really about your heart if your heart is open and if your heart is strong it will send very strong and powerful vibrations throughout your whole body that dispels all the toxins and negative energies in your system so for you to be healthy um, worry less about eating the right foods or exercising the right amount but be more focused on opening your heart and allowing your heart to uh, emit strong vibrations of love and this will allow your health to be developed to the optimal level so you will find if you look around you that people who um, are selfish or self-centered they tend to have poorer health regardless of how well they eat or how much they exercise whereas um, even people with cancer but if they are very loving very compassionate and very kind they will recover from the cancer very quickly because love heals all yes love heals all so for those of you who are suffering from ill health I would suggest that you pay less attention to um, eating superfoods or nutritional supplements and just focus on being a loving person and this will um, this will take you a long way to developing perfect health okay I'm going to end here for now uh, I thank Lena for allowing me to talk to you directly and I thank you for taking the time to listen to this video I look forward to connecting with you um, in a more direct way so after this video if you feel inspired to reson to connect more with me just think of my image and talk to me in your heart and I will respond to you okay so I'm going to end off here thank you and bye so that was Jesus and um, it's, a, it's a surprise to me how happy Jesus seem to be in talking in this video if you were to watch my previous video where i channeled mother earth you will notice that mother earth is a lot more serious a lot more formal whereas jesus he really seems like a big brother in the way he's talking to all of you so i hope that you guys enjoyed that i'm going to channel um another famous higher being in the next video so please stay tuned for that so i'm going to end off for here have a good day ahead Thank you and bye.